Morning. Uh, snack in the caves in the trees, episode four. Do you want some more? What have we got today? We've got the onion and garlic dip out, and we've got some uh, pork pie. Uh, look at this beast. Uh, it's pretty damn good pork pie now, I reckon. Um, so, yeah. I should have uh, got some facts on pork pies. This was a spontaneous buy. It was in the reduced cabinet, so I didn't um, really uh, investigate but obviously, you probably know, Melton Mulberry is definitely associated with pork pies. That's supposedly uh, the, the place that they got it together, you know. Mm. So, delicious on its own. You got your pastry, you got your meat, and the jelly, which I think is quite important. Although other people put them off, like pork pies. Uh, they don't like the jelly bit in there, but I like it. And um, if a pork pie hasn't got jelly for me, I find, I find that quite annoying, actually. But let's try it with the uh, onion and garlic dip. Because, actually, this is possibly a new one for me. I'm not too sure if I've tried this before. I probably have, but I just didn't remember. Hmm. Well, that's definitely a winner. Um, pork pie and uh, onion and garlic dip definitely works. Well, I've pretty much established that onion and garlic dip works with everything. I guess the test test will be to see to find something uh, that maybe doesn't work with onion and garlic dip mm. that's a fucking good pie that's delicious. Um, yeah, I should have got some more history and facts about pork pies, really, but I didn't. But uh, I guess that's it. Snack my keeps in the trees. What's left of them? They keep cutting them down.